Are you there? <laughs> that toy is it. Yeah, that toy is as big as peanut butter. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Oh, what do we got? One. Oh, seven. Good enough. Um. All right, you did everything you need to do. Yeah, I'm ready. And you're back. Good deal. Good deal. So where were we? Um. Probably should not have been listening to a podcast while I was out there. Probably should have just been letting my thoughts percolate. Now I'm like, <laughs> and anyway, that's okay. Uh, well, that also there was a wasp, and so I got the wasp spray, and then I found another. I killed like eight wasps, and uh, one of them was building the nest. Two of two of them. Ugh, it's a uh, wasp season. There haven't been as many spiders around, so we're gonna see a lot more wasps this this year. Um, yeah, I love living up. I love living up north. We don't really have to worry about that stuff for a few more weeks. Yup, it's just the beginning of it. It's happening. Just God, I hate wasps so much. Just the even wasps and mosquitoes. I would eradicate. I used to take um, a transmission fluid because it smells sweet. Oh yeah. Um, and you you mix it in with some Gatorade and some sugar, and you cut a Gatorade bottle, and then you flip it. You cut like the the boob part of yeah, the Gatorade yeah. bottle on. To where it's like a normal cup, and you flip it upside down to where it's a funnel, and you put it in the cup, and then the wasps will go in there to get the sugar, and they can't get out, and they just drown. Oh yeah, that's good times. I am I am merciless with with those kind of flying stingy critters. Hate them, hate them. I, I don't mind bees because it's like one and done. You know, like bees not uh, so yeah, much. They're gonna sting you, but they're gonna die, so it's all fair. Yeah, but no, like like. That's why I know God's real, because it's like, what kind of fucking creature is that that can sting you <laughs> multiple times, you know? Like, yeah. They, oh, yeah. They got, uh, that's that's the one thing about it, is like, bees are naturally defensive, you know, versus offensive. Yeah. They're, bees don't want to, yeah. they don't want to die. I think they, they are, they're programmed to know that, the, you know, I, yeah, I get one and done. And wasps are like, you know, the fuck you. I'll sting you a hundred times. I'll get my yeah. fr- I'll get my friends to come back and sting you too, because I can. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, literally, that's exactly I'm, what it is. I'm gonna rain liquid liquid death upon all you, uh, you and all your kin. <laughs> is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and I think because I'm paranoid, I can't tell whether I might have gotten a little overspray dusting on the dog's coat. So I'm gonna give him a bath later. Just make sure he doesn't lick it off, go. just in case. It's he's probably fine. I probably don't need to do that, but this is me looking at a potential Bigfoot. <laughs> like, yeah, rushing. Yeah, the... you can't worry. You can't worry about that. I mean, you gotta you gotta take that stuff seriously because yeah, uh, you know, you don't know what kind of that's a little dog too. Like, oh, uh, yep. You know, like you know, the uh, chemicals affect animals before they'll affect us. And yeah, that's the truth. At a much you know, at a much lower know, dose, yeah. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well that's <laughs> that that also Well that I think it's also kind of related to what we're talking about in terms of uh, uh, you know problems and, and addressing them. I I'm definitely in this state of mind where I'm like, okay, I'm looking at a potential problem. A potential problem that is very serious. A dead dog when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to deal with that. A dog I gotta rush to the emergency room. These are huge problems. Or or I take 10 minutes on a sunny day. I give him a bath. Problem solved. Even if it's not highly likely that he got enough of a dusting to really do him any harm. Why would I not solve a problem very easily with 10 minutes of effort? And it's better to be proactive. than Reactive. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when the consequences are so severe, when the reaction is burying the dog, because there's nothing you can do. And for the rest of my life, I will regret I didn't take 10 minutes when I could have and just solve the problem. So that's so this is problem solving. This is like looking at what's realistic and what's what's possible. And Mm -hmm. and sometimes we conceptualize things like that that are, you know, catastrophes that are disasters that are that are things so above and beyond that there's nothing we can do. The problem finds us in as if it were in uh, an alive thing with a will and beeline bam we're in it and and problems can feel like natural disasters feel like that i mean it's if we we personify or um, anthropomorphize tornadoes it's like it came straight from my house well it did that's what it looked like you know it went over there and then went over there and then it it went right towards me now we, we would also say oh the tornado missed me as if it had a will you know as if it were 
uh, it's something alive that could control itself. And we, we, we do tend to con conceive of things like that because uh, it, it seems that way in nature. It seems like nature targets us or it doesn't in, in its own way, even if it doesn't, doesn't actually have a consciousness as far as we can tell. <laughs>